My name is Allison, and I'm part of the Children's Services staff of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library System. Welcome to Storytime. Today, our theme will be stars. Today, we're going to open up our story time by singing Open, Shut Them. Some of you may go like this. I go like this. Join me. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right back down again. Open, shut them, open, shut them, now our stories begin. Our first story today is called, How to Catch a Star, written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window, and he wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed of how the star would be his friends. They would play hide and go seek, and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired oh, from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see the star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and waited and ate lunch and waited and after dinner he waited some more finally just before the sun was about to go away he saw a star the boy tried to jump up and grab it but he could not jump high enough so very carefully he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find but the star was still out of reach he thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. If only he could fly up in a spaceship and just grab the star. Can you grab a star? But the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly well at all. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky and reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he'd ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out of the water with his hands. But when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it, washed up on the bright golden sand. Do you see what it is? The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. The end. Remember we're doing our theme? It's all about stars. Well, I shared a book with you already called How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. And did you notice there was a starfish in that book? That's why I thought it would be fun to do an activity with starfish. Now, where did I put them? Did I leave them in the sea? Oh, they're right here. Hmm, how many do I have? Will you count with me? One, two, three, four four starfish. Let's go over their colors. Orange, red, uh, pink, and blue. Good job. Well, there were four little starfish in the sea. The orange one swam away and that left three. Three little starfish in the ocean so blue, 
The red one swam away. And that left two. Two little starfish in the sun. The pink one swam away and that left one. One little starfish swimming along. It was time for him to go home and that left